another part of episode so we're going to continue on with real hollywood again and just press play i guess so yeah we're going to continue right here and of course we've got to watch an advert but i'll probably skip this in the video Alrighty, everyone so we're well the advert just finished for me so we're back in the game Ella, back from your hot seat, tell me everything. Kel tried to be nice to me, and, and I told him that I overheard his phone call. Whoa, how did he take it? Pretty well, I guess. I told him I know that he and Bianca set me up, and I told him to keep his mouth shut or I'll blow the lid off this whole show. Go, Ella. Haha, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Wait, hold on, Ella. It's Trench. Anika, babe, it's Trench. Listen, I need you to make Ella beach ready and send her back to the studio ASAP. Beach ready? Yes, that. Got it. Okay, Ella, I guess you're going to the beach. Ella, nice outfit. Thanks. Ratings have been pretty average this season, so we're mixing it up. I'm sending you and the guys to the beach for a few days. Okay. I love the beach. This is awesome. This is the best news I've heard since getting here. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm glad you're on board with the plan. My helicopter's waiting to the <laughs> waiting for us out front. Let's go. So we're going on a helicopter to the beach? I don't know. Whoa, what a beach. We're trying to make our beach episodes feel kind of like Survivor. We want this to be about the survival of the fittest. Uh, am I going to have to eat cockroaches? Uh, no, nothing like that. Dirk, Jonathan and Kyle set up camps on different parts of the beach. They're each going to try show how they can rough it in the wild. Uh, yeah. Here, this is going to be awesome. Woohoo, this is Darwin's some uh, its finest. I cannot talk to, today, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's time to separate the wilderness men from the wilderness boys. Follow the path to the campsites. Okay, so we've got awkward walking scenes. Welcome to Fort Jonathan, population 2. Ha, it's nice. It's a nice little place on... Let me start that again. Ha, it's a nice little piece of beach. What's with that tower? Yeah, we didn't get to pee. Pe pe oh my God, seriously? I don't even know if I can do this video today. I'm talking so bad. We didn't get to pick our campsites. What do they use that thing for anyway? Send out signals to aliens. Okay, I don't like her. I really don't like her character. <laughs> it sure looks like it. They built a huge cell phone tower by my parents' house in Alaska. <laughs> Does it ru ruin the view? Completely, and they light it up at night. I can't, I can't talk. <laughs> this is so awkward, oh my god. Completely, and they light it up at night so we can't see as many stars. I remember growing up on a farm. I was counting shooting stars until I fell asleep. My older brother used to call them God's Biggers. Gross. Jonathan, can I ask you something? Sure. Do you... Uh, okay, ignore that Twitter notification. Do you think you'll ever be able to love again? Or do you want to have kids someday? The love line. Do you think you'll be able to love anyone again after what happened with your fiancé? Heavy question. Honestly, Ella, I really don't know. I hope so. Sorry, that was totally nosy of me. I know, right? <laughs> they both kind of were. But, whatever. It's okay, it's okay. That's what we're here for, isn't it? I think I should probably head to the next campsite. I have to make it back to my trailer by sunset. Oh, gosh. Oh, a trailer. How fancy. Haha. <laughs> Haha, -ha, it's a... <laughs> It's a lot fancier than sleeping on the sand, you jerk. Bye, Ella. Bye, Jonathan. Okay, I don't know. I like him. I do. I don't like her, though. This guy's a... Mm. Hi. Hi. So, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, you think? Awkwardness is a two-way street. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that both people need to think something is awkward for it to be awkward. And I don't think this is awkward. 
Ha, huh, well, there you go. That is totally incorrect. You could think something's awkward if the other person doesn't. What is she even talking about? I think it's important to face your fears. Take me, for instance. My worst fear is to be stranded on a desert island with you. And here I am. Well, you're not really stranded. So, you know, there's that. Uh, and my worst, worst fear is for you to keep talking. You think I talk too much? Oh, uh, yeah. Kyle, you're acting like a bright child. You're right. I do talk too much. I do sort of talk too much. But I'm an actress. So... Well, it's kind of what I'm selling here. Me talking? Why don't we start over? Hi, I'm Ella. Sup? <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> Reintroduce yourself. Why? You already know my name. Just do it for the sake of starting fresh. Hi there, I'm Kyle. Much better. You remind me of my ex so much. It's weird. Oh yeah, and how's your ex? She's pretty. She's an actress. She left me for Tom Cruise. No way. Way. You're full of it. I have no reason to lie to you, Ella. Hmm, good point. Well, this has been fun, but I still have to go see Dirk before sunset. Ha, have fun with that one. He was doing butt crunches and setups the whole ride up here. Yeah, I believe that. See you, Kyle. Peace out. Okay. God. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Dirk. Smella, what's good? Smella? It's a cute little nickname I just thought up. Whatever. <laughs> now this one's awkward. So I don't know about I don't know what those other dweebs are doing on this their beach cat sites. But I've spent all day spotting a shark offshore. I'm sure you have, mister. Now that you're here, I'm gonna swim out, catch it, and cook it for dinner. Are you serious? Yeah, shark meat is great. Very lean, high in protein. Shut up. I don't know if that's the best idea. I love sharks. Like, don't do that. I hope it eats him. He's going under. I hope he dies. Dark. I don't want to do either. I want him to die. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Um. I don't want to do either. Go get help to be continued. Enjoying the story so far. Want to learn? Maybe later. Okay. So we're got going to do another uh, chapter. Oh, no battery. Um, and I hope Dirk dies. <laughs> it's that bad. But yeah. I've got to watch another ad, so. Mm. Okay. So we're back. Last time on Heart Attack... Trying to send Ella on a beach getaway. Things started getting close and personal. Until Dirk started getting a little too close and personal with a shark. Hold on Dirk, I'm going to get help. Go slowly please. Help. Jonathan, help, Dirk's getting attacked by a shark. I know, I saw him swim out there from my campsite. No big deal. <laughs> I'm going after him. Oh, gosh. Hold on, Dirk. Dirk. This sucks. Like, can't he just die? I don't like him. I don't even think you guys saw him, but he's just a twat. Okay, anyways. I can't believe we're having... <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> he actually did die? I'm sorry, but what the heck? I can't believe we're having Dirk's funeral on the show. Did you even read your contract? We have we get to include any funerals and or births that happen during filming. Uh, I guess I missed that part. Oh my god, my yoga teacher's here. I had no idea she was friends with Dark. His death has affected a lot of people in the fitness community. I need some air. I'm going outside. What's going on with my life? In three weeks, I've been betrayed by my best friends and seen someone die. Is this what is meant? What it means to be on television? Hey, hey, pretty crazy in there, right? Yeah, I had to come out here and clear my head. I haven't been to a funeral since. They're rough. No one is acting like themselves. You know, I tried everything I could to save Dark. It was just too late. 
Jonathan, you did everything in your power, but it wasn't enough. You can't think about it like that. Dirk tried to catch and eat a shark. Yeah, he did deserve to die, doesn't he? Poor shark. If it wasn't the shark that killed him, something else would have come along. What do you mean? I don't know. He would have punched a python or wrestled a tiger or something. He was a risk taker. That's a very, very polite way of saying what he was. Hey, lovebirds. We are having a meeting now. We have one week left to film and the show must go on. Just because Dirk is dead, it doesn't mean we can't have a great season wrap up. Dirk would have wanted it this way. Shut up, Kyle. By the way, Ella, what's with the dress? It was a gift from Anika, you moron. It's a funeral dress. It makes me want to die, is that the point? Please never speak to me again. The dress is pretty awful, honestly. I don't really like the dress. Hey Ella, we are all grieving here. You don't need to get nasty. Trench, I'm willing to just split my prize three ways, call it a day. Haha, <laughs> so you're calling the shots now, Ella. You better show some much respect. Some, some more respect. When I found you, you were a wannabe actress dancing on the bar at a trashy club. That was my roommate dancing on the bar. Hmm, you're right. How is Bianca anyway? I wouldn't know. Uh, well, as I was saying, I brought you onto the show, so be grateful for that. And we're filming next week as usual. Trench, I have to say something. I've seen too much tragedy this year. I'll give up my cash prize if I, if you let me leave. Give up your crash prize? So you mean you were going to say no if I picked you? Uh, Ella, listen, you're great and everything, but I just can't let someone get into my life right now. Whoa, 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 he's just kidding, right, Jonathan? Right? Sure. <laughs> Alright, you little brats. Go rest up because tomorrow Trench is pulling out the big guns. Big guns? Are you going to have a shooting competition? Not funny. If someone shoots Trench, can we all just go home? It's not a shooting competition. I just mean pulling out the big guns as in there's a big surprise in store. Oh, a surprise -y. We like he. I'm going to bed, losers. Okay. <laughs> to be continued. Want to stay in the loop? No. Not now. Alright, so that was the next part of episode Real Hollywood. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was quite eventful. I'm... I kind of feel bad because I said I hope he dies and then he actually died. <laughs> so that, that was a bit not very nice on my part. But you know, these things happen. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everyone.